Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how we can set up a simulate phishing attack for our end user. So my this video is basically for the IT person who are managing Office 365 tenant or IT administrators who are managing Office 365 tenant. Let's go let's first see what's the simulate fishing tag or what's the purpose of simulate fishing attack so the purpose of simulating a fishing attack is to raise awareness and educate individuals or organizations about the potential risk and consequences of falling victim to real fishing attacks by creating a control and safe environment, a simulated phishing attack can help identify vulnerabilities, test the effectiveness of security measures, and train users on how to recognize and respond to phishing attempts. It aims to improve overall cybersecurity awareness and reduce the likelihood of successful phishing attacks by teaching users to be cautious and vigilant when interacting with suspicious email or websites so let's go to the prerequisites of setting up a simulate phishing attack okay i have this in word document for you so for setting up simulate phishing attack in microsoft compliance and security you need a membership of one of the following roles global administrator or a security administrator or attack simulation administrator which can create and manage all aspect of attack simulation campaigns or attack payload author which can create attack payloads that an admin can initiate later so just for your information i will show you in azure we can go to Azure and account I am using. I have assigned all required roles to my this user, the IT admin. Basically, this user is also a global administrator and it can manage everything in Office 365 and Azure or anywhere in this tenant. But I was getting an error when this was only a global administrator so if you do not assign these roles you will get an error i'll save this screenshot for you let me show you what error you will be getting when you don't have these roles assigned to your users okay if you can see my screen if you are missing any of the roles to set up a tech simulation training right and you will access a tech simulation training page you will get this error permission required you need to correct roles and permission to view and configure simulation training okay so the next thing is which is important for you so that i can so that you will be able to get logs for your attack simulation training or reporting capability and you will be able to get the auditing so in order for attack simulation training to have reporting capabilities auditing needs to be enabled so you can enable this auditing by going to this url i will add this url in video description for you so i have already opened this here so i can turn on auditing let me check here so i am on the auditing page and i can enable start recording user and admin activity okay okay just for your information when you set up a tag simulation on the start 
you will get this message in order for attack simulation training to have reporting capabilities auditing needs to be enabled and it needs to be enabled from the page where i have already showed you you will be also careful about licensing all right this will require microsoft defender license e5 or office 365 plan 2 so you could also be proceed with a trial here so let's go ahead and set up and launch our first simulation okay it's loading as this is just for your training and understanding so i will proceed with the first simulation attack in this type of technique a malicious actor create a message with url in the message with the target text on the url within the message they are taken to the website and the website often that website will be look like this right there will be this will be a landing page and where user have to enter their credentials so i will select the first credential harvest so once you learn or once you will have complete details about simulation attack you can select any other technique to send phishing email to your users hit next i will name this simulation credentials harvest okay let's say the same description okay so here when we select the credential harvest here we can have different option with predicted compromise rate percentage so we can ask user to renew office 365 subscription we can send a two failed messages here we can select this as this option have 39 percent of compromise rate and this page will be looks like this okay so when user will click on view return messages message login page will be look like this microsoft it will take them to directly to microsoft page for login okay let's select two file messages hit next okay now here we have two options include only specific users or groups include all users in my organizations so i want to include everyone right i want to test everyone if someone proceed with this they have to get a microsoft training like if someone gets compromised it's this uh, compromise by this simulation attack they have to get the training okay i have selected the users that hit next now we have the option exclude some of the targeted users from simulation so i don't want to exclude any of the users right let me hit next okay now we are at the training option assign training select training preferences assignment and customize a landing page for the simulation assign training for me let microsoft assign training courses and module on users previous simulation and training results by learning pathway so this will be better microsoft will automatically assign the training to the users who will proceed with that link and who will get compromised with this attack uh, here we have the option of due date select a training due date so we can say 30 days 15 days 7 days like there could be maximum 30 days mm -hmm. let's go to the next step hit next okay here we have to select landing page that provide a learning moment 
to the user after getting fished so i will select use landing page from library as i am currently creating this video just for training so select the microsoft landing page template one let hit next okay now here we have options like end user notification select end user notification preferences for this campaign so i will select here microsoft before notification and i will select the language english here so i want this notification to be delivered right after they click on a fish url so this notification will be from microsoft so i will select deliver after simulation i will select weekly here right like these are these will be a reminder notification that microsoft will send them dead train right okay next so now we are at the launch detail page so configure when you want the simulation to launch if you would like to remove the payload from the user and boxes so i want to launch this simulation as soon as i'm done or i can schedule this simulation to be launched later on right uh, <coughs> i will select this simulation to be launched right away right away right now okay configure number of days to end simulation offer so let's select two days that's fine or let me increase it to three days and hit next so now this is the review of our simulation attack so review your simulation information before you launch it you currently have it scheduled to be launched at this date and this time it will end at this time and these are the details so let's see a test like before sending to user uh, i want to test how this looks the test email sent successfully and please check your mailbox yeah see i will got a test of that simulation here and the page will be look like this our server has detected some error delivering two new message to your inbox due to synchronization delay click or view return message below to retrieve this message so when someone click on view return messages okay now this test is successful that our simulation configuration and setup is working fine so let me go and hit submit okay the status is still on the submitting let's wait okay now we can see simulation has been scheduled for a launch and it will be sent right now like i selected the current time and the simulation will appear as scheduled and you can view it in the list of your simulation let's see if i got simulation email here yes i got it okay so just for your understanding i will click on this link view return messages right 
this is just for your understanding so that I can show you how I will get a training email from Microsoft when I will get fished so let's hit view return messages here that's it I will not log into uh, this right so I think that's it regarding getting fished so I think yes I get an email from Microsoft that this is an email for trainings assigned to your security team you have training courses to complete in three minutes so let's go to training so that you will be understand better that if user get fish they have to get the training so here i have a training in my email and every user who will get fish he will be going to get this training here and these will be training videos for the users this is the training player and this will get loaded here and this should be loading here this could take some time okay here you go mass marketing fishing so we have tried mass marketing fishing and i assume that i get fish from that mass marketing fishing attack and now microsoft is suggesting a training so here is training when i click that link and i come to this training have you heard mass marketing phishing attack can you avoid getting hooked find out by the following find out by following this scenario we start it okay so that's it uh, i will not proceed this video here right this was all just for your understanding so you will be able to understand how we can simulate phishing attack of a user and this was the complete process complete and to the point process in office 365 you can customize it according to your requirements right but this was only the basic for your learning so in attack simulation we have set up credential harvest and we have set up this phishing attack and we have sent it the user just for your understanding here we have different options right so uh like if the user get training or no who clicked on the link all the details about the users here and then we will have reports here about our current phishing attacks we have sent so here we have all the details okay that's it this is all about simulate fishing peg with simulate fishing attack training so i have shown you how we can set up a fishing from office 365 and send to users and how we will get a training and how we can get to these dashboards but just to confirm you i will add all these urls in the video description so that you will be able to get all these url easily right like url to uh, compliance and security url to get uh, simulation or url to azure active directory this is now called microsoft intra id where we can assign roles to user so thanks for watching keep watching stay tuned